morning guys what we have here for review is a 2018 Mitsubishi Montero in the Virgil gray color one of the most famous colors for the Montero this version is a GLS uh, premium uh, it is an 8-speed automatic and let's start with the exterior with the suspension of the Montero for the front we have the double wishbone with coil springs and for the rear we have the three link uh, with coil springs uh, stabilizer bar I'm not sure why it's different but in terms of the ride of this Montero it is honestly one of the best riding cars or SUVs I've ever ridden Tali for tuner personally maybe it's in line with the Terra but this is actually a really comfortable car um, for the wheel and tire setup of the Montero uh, for the tire they're running 265 60 R18s, uh, Dunlop 8020s, and for the wheels, they are an 18 by 7.5 two tone alloy. For the GLS version and the GLX, which are the non premium versions and the manual versions, uh, they run on 18 by 7.5 alloys. They aren't two tone, those are the only differences. And the fuel tank capacity of this car is 68 liters, well enough for a diesel and an SUV. The GLS premium comes with a smart key which you simply unlock and um, the side mirror is automatically open or close. In terms of the exterior of the car, it does come with fog lamps, it comes with halogen LED bulbs here on the front. Uh, it's a pretty simple exterior look here. However, I think it is a much better looking vehicle than the former Montero. So this is more fitted with the modern standards of styling. And in terms of the exterior of the car, taillights are extremely different compared to what we are normally used to. And um, initially, when this car was offered in the market, I opted against it simply because of the, of the design of the taillights. And after a while, they do grow on you even though they look similar to a car or a vehicle that you would see in a Tron movie. Uh, other than that, I think uh, it really makes a statement as compared to you know them thinking of an innovative style for the modern uh, era of cars. The car is noticeably bigger, well actually more of higher than other SUVs but beside the Terra, the Nissan Terra now, this car looks noticeably smaller uh, in terms of height. I think I have a comparison picture that I should post right here. One feature of the Montero that Mitsubishi is very proud of is its high suspension, meaning that the all-new Montero actually advertised to challenge uh, rivers or extremely flooded streets with its 700 millimeter uh, wading depth, meaning it's higher than other SUVs. When entering the Montero, you don't necessarily have to press the smart key all the time because it does come with a smart key or intelligent key system wherein you just have to press this as long as it detects the key and it automatically unlocks. So this is the interior of the Montero. The premium one comes in leather. All leather meaning uh, it reaches all the way back there, including leather on the door, the driver's side door, and all doors actually right here and right here. So it's a very nice, sweet touch to the premium or luxurious uh, factor of the car. As for the driver's side power seat controls, you have the option to move it forwards, backwards, or recline it higher. We are inside the Montero right now. Simply put the key here. And the push start button is actually on the left, uh, not on the right. So that's very weird. Although the area for where the key should be plugged in is right here for the non-premium models. So to start the car, simply press on the brake, press the push start button. So inside the Montero, you're given a very premium and luxurious feel of the car. Everything is black. Uh, mostly everything is leather. The steering wheel is uh is leather also and it has some ridges here which uh, in my opinion just looks very very beautiful you're greeted with the source button right here for the radio volume right here directional buttons left and right here uh, cruise control settings right here so let's start with the gauge first so simply by pressing on the onboard computer setting you're greeted by the liter per 100 kilometers uh, i'm not sure how accurate this is um, average speed Nexus Echo Mode, I believe this is what you should put on if you want to save on the gas mileage or if you want to save on the fuel, fuel mileage and what's left of it. Uh, back to the odometer, drip A, drip B. And now let's move on over to the stereo. This I think is one of the best features of the Montero and this I think is why it also beats other competitors because for example this Montero comes with a built-in compass comes with the built-in voltmeter. This measures how high your altitude is. And it also comes, uh, well, all five tires, including the spare, comes with a sensor, which uh, indicates how much uh, PSI is left in them. For example, this is 35, this is 34, and it comes with the temperatures as well. So I think this is the best feature of the Montero, personally, in terms of uh, 
the technology that it has on the stereo because wow some Land Cruisers don't even have this uh, the Navara doesn't even have this I'm not sure if the Terra does the Fortuner I'm not sure if it does as, as well but even then this is still pretty uh, pretty cool to me and you could even zoom in on this uh, portion of the radio itself and it just puts on a full screen of uh, everything that you want to basically uh, take note of so as for the main menu of the car simply press the home button and it brings you a whole lot of other accessories the car comes with a built-in navigation or GPS um, map here radio car info is where the voltmeter is and all of that aux in Bluetooth disc and Wi-Fi display one spot on technology of the Montero now which I just discovered actually I never knew about this is the Wi-Fi display simply press on it and it acts as an Apple TV of some sorts which means that if you have a device you could simply connect to the car to um, choose Mitsubishi Wireless TV from your gadgets Wi-Fi settings and whatever you're watching on your device should pop up right here so we'll try it right now Ayun, so screen mirroring press it Mitsubishi Wireless TV 934 Ayun. wow that's that's amazing actually and so if you simply want to mirror it then you could just do it like this really admire you guys from that so ang galing, ang galing. Uh, I'm impressed in terms of touchscreen, hindi naman siya ganong ka, let's say, user-friendly because medyo mahirap pa rin siya mag-type and mag-redirect and all that. And it's a little confusing as well. So, it's a good touch as well. Pero in terms of if you're gonna compare it to aftermarket GPS systems, I'd still go for those ones. Alright, and as for the aircon system, it is automatic, which I think is a very good feature as well. As for the transmission, it is actually an 8-speed uh, auto transmission, which is very, very impressive. It also comes with cruise control and um, paddle shifters, meaning that if you go into manual mode, you could simply just change gear by um, paddling these shifters right here. So two, and you two, and one. And another thing that surprised me with the modern technology of this Montero is the handbrake button. I mean, man, grabe, wala nang, wala nang physical uh, handbrake here, guys. It's simply, um, you simply toggle it up or toggle it down to simply uh, activate the handbrake so toggling it up activates it right there and then toggling it down uh, just makes it go away this is the first thing I noticed in the Montero and wow I haven't seen any car uh, locally here in the Philippines that has had this if you guys know of any please comment it down pero grab it this is this is some new technology right here I'm very surprised and I'm very impressed and as for the traction control settings there right here ito naman yung side mirror controls natin left right and then this is to manually um, turn off or close the side mirrors so this is me in the second row of the Montero like I said I am 510 and um, it isn't exactly very spacious but it isn't cramped up in here either it's pretty much comfortable na rin naman. and you have this second row of armrest right here so as for the rear aircon they aren't placed right here they're placed right here above so there's one on each side very cold I might say. You have this up here, uh, simply press on and this to um, lower or uh, have the aircon stronger. Door indicators, lights right here. So to put up the third row of seats, you'd simply have to pull this up uh, like that. You'd have to simply push these forward just like that. So. Our third row natin is not as comfortable as you'd want them to be. I suggest that you guys just go get a Star X or an Alford or um, any of the same tier, maybe a high ace. The hook to open the hood is far down here. It isn't seen actually and I think it's a very weird position. And as for the heart or the engine of the Montero, it runs on the 2.4 liter inline 4 16 valve dock clean diesel which is a 4N. 15. A new engine as compared to the old model. This has the variable geometry turbo, the VGT, and the Mitsubishi Innovative Valve Timing Electronic Control, or the MIVEX system, as they would say. So for the engine bay, we'll start with the expansion tank, which is right here. The turbo, obviously, is right here. It's huge. Um, radiator is right here. For the radiator fluid, top-up is here. Power steering fluid, windshield washer. Battery is here. It is still OEM from the looks of it and uh, the brake master fluid is right here So we are taking the 2018 premium Montero for a drive uh, when you reverse the car you're greeted with um, 
a reverse camera right here, which fills up the whole screen. The car actually shifts pretty quick, and the, there doesn't seem to be any lag in the transmission. Uh, engine is fine as well. It's not very torquey compared to pickups. So it's, it is very, very comfortable that way. So the SUV is in the same tier in competitors that it has, like the Terra, the Fortuner, uh, you say Isuzu. I think this is one of the best ones out there in terms of its year and in terms of technology. In terms of driving comfort, I'd probably give the Montero a 9 over 10 because it really is comfortable as compared to other SUVs or pickups. For example, going over a hump is almost... Uh, motionless to be honest you won't really feel anything and going over bumps is the most comfortable thing as well once you exit the car it would simply greet you with a saying that says see you uh, so thank you guys that's it for the 2018 premium uh, montero uh, if you guys have any comments and suggestions simply post them down uh, if you guys want to have um, regular honest car reviews every week uh, simply like and subscribe and um, thank you it's been great i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you guys